I'm Caroline Foster and I'm the Director of Doctoral Studies here at the Faculty of Law. So when your PhD application comes in, I'll be the person taking a look at it once it reaches the Faculty and seeing if we can put together a supervision team for you. My own research interests are in the field of international law. I'm particularly interested in the relationships between different subfields of international law, for example trade and environment and human rights, or investment and law of the sea. I'm lucky enough to be enjoying a research grant which has taken me to Geneva to the World Trade Organisation for a month and will take me to the University of Cambridge. The Auckland Law School has staff who are well regarded in a wide range of areas. In the field of international economic law, for instance, Amakura Kafaru is at the faculty. She is author of Williams and Kafaru on arbitration and has previously worked in private practice in Auckland and in Sydney. Professor Jane Kelsey is a very well known and internationally active critical commentator, analyst and researcher. Chris Noonan has advised Pacific Island governments and also works in the areas of trade, commercial law, company law and competition law. In the field of company, corporate and commercial law, we have Professor Peter Watts QC, who has been Leverhulme Visiting Professor at the University of Oxford. We also have Professor Francis Dawson, a specialist in contract law and formerly a partner in a major New Zealand firm. Marcus Roberts works in the area of contract, tort and vicarious liability. And Professor Warren Swain is interested in the intellectual history of the law and has a book on contract with Cambridge University Press. Professor Paul Rishworth QC is one of our specialists in international human rights law. He's currently serving as Crown Counsel. We also have Scott Optican, who is author of the New Zealand Bill of Rights, and Dr Jane Norton, who works on gender, discrimination and religious freedom. She holds a PhD from Balliol College in Oxford. Many of our academics have worked in areas important for developing government policy. This includes healthcare, where we have Professor Joanna Manning, who works in healthcare law, accident compensation and tort. Professor Ron Patterson is former Health and Disability Commissioner in New Zealand, also former Ombudsman and Chair of the Banking Ombudsman Scheme. And he's published a book called The Good Doctor. Administrative law is a really important area of law for the developing modern state. Professor Janet McLean has written about the nature of the state and also concentrates on the public-private distinction. Hannah Wilberg is another well-regarded administrative lawyer who also works on public authority liability. She's recently been a visiting fellow at the University of Cambridge. A good number of our scholars work on issues that have been globally significant and featured in the media. Professors Michael Littlewood and Craig Aliff both work in the area of tax. Michael's book is on Hong Kong's troublingly successful tax system and Craig has worked previously as a partner for 14 years at KPMG and subsequently as a tax partner for nine years at Chapman Trip. Faculty members are seeking to help lead awareness and problem solving in some of the most pressing areas facing the planet today. Professor Klaus Bosselman is Director of the New Zealand Centre for Environmental Law and has written and published over 25 books. David Grinlinton specialises in the areas of renewable energy and natural resource extraction. The faculty is particularly strong in commercial law and greatly values its connection with the city and the profession. Doing a PhD requires you to develop a whole new raft of skills. It will challenge you, it will enthuse you, at times it will exasperate you, but at the end you will come out with something extremely worthwhile and distinctly personal to you. This will give you new opportunities. You might wish to specialise in a particular area of the law, or perhaps you'd like to go and work for an international organisation. If you were to decide to do your PhD, at the Auckland Law School. You'd be coming to a community of scholars committed to their work, committed to working to the highest standards and working with you to help you achieve the highest standards. I'd encourage you to explore our doctoral program and begin the process of an online application. We understand that this is a journey and we have people available to answer your inquiries and assist you and help you develop your doctoral proposal.